So today I want to talk about how I try to tie my motivation and my dopamine system to the journey, not necessarily the outcome. So basically for the longest time, if you've been following my YouTube channel, my journey, you know that my goal was to make $20,000 a month in net passive income through real estate by the age of 35. And you know, I want to do that solely through real estate. And as I was trying to strive for this number, this is what dr drove me to buy 90 units of real estate. And because I thought, okay, if I have 90 units of real estate, um, you know, let's say on average each unit makes 200 bucks a unit, then I would basically um, net $2,000, $20,000 a month by age 35. And I'll set on track to do that because I bought all these assets by the time I was like 32, right? So. You know, I bought it and, you know, as I was striving towards it, I realized that tying my, I guess, goal to the outcome wasn't making me as happy because I was always focused on like what I didn't have, right? Because I was just thinking like, okay, I have 90 units of real estate, you know, it's value add. So, um, you know, obviously I'm putting money in every month. I'm not making money and, you know, I'm, I'm rent renovating units, need to rent them out. My mobile home park was losing money every month. It was like losing $10,000 a month. So, you know, it was very um, discouraging to see like, okay, I have 90 units of real estate, but you know, there's a lot of people who own maybe five or 10 units and they're already cash flowing like $20,000 a month because maybe they have an Airbnb or um, maybe they're like in just, you know, in a high, high, higher profit margin cash flow market, right? So I was very like getting discouraged from all that and was just always thinking about what I didn't have, right? I was like, well, I have 90 units, that's great, but I don't have $20,000 a month in cash flow and I need to get it by 35. So I was making a lot of like rash decisions. Like I would say, honestly, buying my mobile home park was probably a rash decision of me trying to blindly chase my goal of $20,000 a month by 35. Um, if I was rational and obviously hindsight's 2020, what I should have done was not buy that mobile home park, but instead buy, um, it's another like 20 unit apartment complex that was near my 26 unit apartment complex. Um, so I can have economies of scale, right? If I was more methodical, I would have done that. And honestly, if I bought that 20 unit apartment complex, um, I probably would have maybe hit my goal, right? I probably would have hit my goal of $20,000 a month because right now, um, you know, once everything, um, my 26 unit, I'm cash flowing around eight to $10,000 a month, depending on, you know, the repairs that month. My 20 units around two to three thousand, uh, depending on you know occupancy and repairs, and then my mobile home park note will basically pay me about two thousand dollars a month, right? So, you know, if, if you were to do a high end, that's about roughly fifteen thousand dollars a month. Uh, but when I was focused on my prior goal, I was just thinking, well, fifteen thousand dollars a month is great, but I'm not at twenty thousand dollars a month, and I'm you know I'm almost turning thirty four, so I have like a year to hit my goal. I'd be stressed, right? Like I said, had I bought my 20 unit right next door, I mean, I, I think that one would be cash flowing, to be honest, like maybe four or 5,000 bucks by now, right? Because it, it was like in the same area, it's like two miles away. I think it was like 20 units. Uh, the purchase price was gonna be a little bit higher and need renovation as well, but I could have copy and pasted all my renovations in my 26 unit to my 20 unit. Um, and it would have been cash flowing maybe like 5,000, right? So maybe that's 15,000 between those two plus another three, so that's 18,000, so that's close. Um, so I just noticed though, by tying to that goal, it made me make rash emotional decisions uh, in trying to go fast. But when you go too fast, it's like stacking Jenga. You have no foundation, to be, no stable foundation, right? Like my foundation was very stable. So I had 90 units, but they were very unstable, 90 not good units because I wasn't cash flowing. But once I sold my mobile home park, uh, I'm down to 50 units, but now it's 50 good units that will cash flow, right? I'm cash flowing about, like I said earlier, um, you know, roughly about 15,000 once once I get my note payment from my mobile home park, right? So I'd rather have 50 good units, and you know, had I bought, like I said, the the 20 unit, I'd, I'd hit my goal. So how I kind of reframed it now was instead of like chasing a goal, like my my goal used to be. $20,000 a month by 35 and why $20,000 a month because that replaces two pharmacist incomes right my income and then um, another pharmacist income um, 
is I want to replace two, right? So basically we can make pharmacist salary without having to work, right? That, that was my, my goal. And I, I chose 35 and I made this go around 30. So what I do now is I pivoted it. So I don't, my goal isn't necessarily, yeah, my goal is still like to hit $20,000 a month by 35. But now my goal is more like action oriented. Like what do I need to do on a daily consistent basis long term in order to hit my goal which is basically financial freedom and, and not having to work if you break it out that's really my goal um, is not having to work right so a daily consistent action that i can do if i'm in the process of buying real estate is you know sending my direct mail every month right and from that i underwrite deals every day i make offers every day i'm trying to um get leads through my property managers every day right so those are the actions that will get me towards my goal and there's no set time window i'll just try to do what i can like you know remember you have to be motivated and work hard every day but that would be my action goal right and how can i optimize my current properties right like can i increase my rents on my properties can i decrease my expense um you know like what can i do to to basically get that goal and and hit the objective so it, it it's really different when you, when you frame it that way right like if for example my goal is to get back in shape and and to regain how you know buff or strong i was back in like 10 years ago what are the daily actions like how can i work out every day like i'm not able to work out for an hour and a half four times a week like i used to but can i do 30 minutes a day seven days a week right or most days of the week and then start there and slowly ramp it up and can I slowly improve my diet and not make drastic changes, right? Like cut out fast food and processed food and, and soda. And eat healthier, cleaner, and more vegetables, right? So like what are things that – and then tie the reward to that daily action, that daily grind. And, and that's how you have true success, right? Like like I said, if you want to build a wealth, like you got to educate yourself. Like how can I educate myself every day? On my daily commute, I will listen to a podcast. Uh, I'll try to listen to different podcasts. I will maybe network with somebody once a week and learn from them, right? I, I will teach to, to reinforce my own education, my own learning. So, like, just think about it. Like, what can you do on a daily basis? Because, you know, I got caught up and a lot of people, you know, I was talking to somebody and basically they were very caught up on instant gratification. How can I get rich now? I'm impatient, right? I want to do it in a year. And don't get me wrong. I was there. Right, like this is why I bought an Amazon drop shipping store that lost money because I wanted easy money now. Because he said that, oh, if you buy this Amazon drop shipping store, you'll make five thousand dollars net a month in like six months. I was like, great, that's what I want. Guess what? I lost thirty thousand dollars on that. I opened up a pharmacy because I thought it'd be quick, easy money. Guess what happened to that? I lost money. Um, you know, I thought buying a bunch of apartment complex would make me fast money. Well, I mean, relatively it's fast, but it still took me like. You know, three years, which is, I'd say it's fast, but not a year, right? So, you know, I, I think when you get caught up in the trying to make money fast, that's when you make rash, stupid decisions, and that ends up you losing money. This is why, like, day trading courses and, and stuff is real popular, because it's the, the concept of fast, easy money, but day trading is just gambling. Um, like, Airbnb is really popular, too, because, like, hey, I can buy a prop a rental i can rent a rental property arbitrage it just furnish it for like five thousand dollars and then rent it out and then make like five thousand like you know two thousand dollars per door and then if i get ten of those then i have twenty thousand and it just cost me five thousand dollars to furnish it each right so like it sounds easy but like if you look at most of those people the people who make money doing that are the people selling the courses not the people actually or doing the property management those are the ones that make the money not the person who actually owns it and has to furnish it right so like there's no such thing as quick easy money right like it took me 10 years to get to where i'm at right i i, I did a video about talking my 10-year wealth building journey right like literally from negative 250k net worth from student loans up to a five million dollar net worth now and it took me 10 years to do that and i get it it's not cool to say especially if you're like hearing this and you're younger right like if you're 18 and you're hearing this that's like more than half your life right <laughs> feels like forever but i will say time does fly like i i was 27 not too long ago and, and that's when i first started buying real estate and fast forward six years and then i'd never guessed i'd be in this position right so like people overestimate what they can do in a year but underestimate what they can do in 10 so that's what i'm saying like there's no such thing as quick fast wealth 
if someone is saying there's quick, fast wealth, they're trying to sell you something, right? They're trying to sell you a product, right? Like, don't get me wrong, people do hit it big, right? Like, you can start on YouTube in a year and then blow up in a year and then sell a bunch of courses and then coaching and make a lot of money, you know, out the gate. But that's like very few, right? Like, what I'm doing is more sustainable and more realistic for, for your everyday, you know, white collar W2 worker, right? Like, you know, just, um, you know, increase your income, minimize your expense and, and invest over time, right? Like that, that's, that's literally it. Just, just like, um, um, you know, weight loss, you know, work out, move more than you eat and cut down a little bit what you eat. That's it, right? Like it, the most simple things to be successful, it's very simple, right? But people want this crazy hack. They want this shortcut. They want, um, shortcuts and hacks. You know, but there's no thing, right? There's no hack. Like, you just have to do it for a really long time, which is why I say you want to tie the dopamine to the daily action, right? If for you, if you want to get in shape, how can you work out every day, right? It can be five minutes every day, 10, and then you go up to 10 minutes and 20 and 30, right? Like, how can I eat cleaner slowly? Like, if, if, I, love, if I drink 10 sodas a day, I just can't go to, like, zero soda. Maybe I'll go to nine soda the next week, and then eight sodas, and then seven, and slowly wean down. Right, so if I want to buy real estate, you know, maybe you start off house hacking like me, right? And then you, once you start house hacking, then maybe you buy a single family home um, out of state like me. And then maybe after that, you buy an apartment complex like me. Or if you want to go straight to apartments, then then surround yourself with a mentor or mentorship. You can check mine out. And then from there, you, you can have someone with you that can guide you there and then get you there faster, right? But just know that like things take time, like good things, take, it takes time to lay a foundation, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. So a key message of this video is tie your motivation, your dopamine to the daily grind because that's realistic, right? If you want to build a personal brand, you're, you're going to be creating thousands of videos without much views, right? That's what I'm going through. If you want to get in shape, you're going to be working out every day and visualize yourself. Hey, this, you woke up today and you feel so tired, you don't feel like working out and you force yourself to work out, that's the reality, right? Real estate, you're, you're gonna be sending a lot of mailers, talking to a lot of owners, and you get a lot of rejections, a lot of no's. You send offers and say no. That's the reality. The, the reality is focus, enjoy the grind, right? I, I enjoy the grind, I love it. I love to learn, I love to do problems. It keeps me energ energized. Every time leads would call me, I would get so pumped up and energized and like, yeah, I wanna know more about this property. I wanna make an offer, I wanna make this work, right? So you, you gotta tie, your motivation to the daily consistent grind if you can do that which is hard but if you can do it you'll be successful guaranteed hopefully you found value from this video please share this video with somebody who needs to hear this and i hope to see you in the next one thank you so much